The fat officials of Boletaria are more than just obese demons with black-toothed grins and a morbid sense of humour. They are in fact keeping a precious secret from us. A secret locked away in a tower secured by a hidden alleyway of locked gates. That secret is... Yuria, the Witch. Hey guys, Ashen1 here, and welcome to this Demon Souls remake video in which we are going to free Yuria the Witch. Yuria is one of the advanced spellbenders in the game, and we are going to get her as quickly and easy as possible. So if you like my content, please subscribe, and let's get straight into it. To free Yuria, we are going to need six items. We are going to need a full set of officials gear, which is the cap, the clothes, the leggings, and the gloves, and two keys, one being the iron key ring, and the other being the bloody iron key. If you are going to free Yuria on your first playthrough, then I should just mention early on that there's no real point in getting her as quickly as possible, because all of the spells that you can get from her require boss souls to buy, and some of these bosses are endgame bosses, and also one of the spells you get from her requires you to have finished a full playthrough. Okay, so let's start by getting three out of the four pieces of the official gear, and we'll do this by coming to World 2, which is Stonefang. So as we progress through World 2-1, the second fat official that you encounter, just up here, will drop the gloves. Now, just be careful of this bridge. The bridge will collapse, but if you just stay right at the edge on the left, you can walk the plank, so to speak. And then you can come in and take the official down, for the first piece, which is the gloves. The second piece of the official's gear then will be the leggings, which are at the end of World 2-1, the last fog gate just before the armoured spider boss. The third piece of the official gear, the official's clothes, will be found in World 2-2, so if you are struggling with the armoured spider boss, then you can check out another one of my videos on how to get the dragon longsword, and in that we cheese the boss and make him very easy. So this fat official here, just from the left of the arc stone, through the tunnel with the exploding carts, will give you the official's clothes. Now, to get to the final piece of the official's gear, the cap, you have to be able to access World 1-3, but to get through this fog door, you need to have killed an archdemon, and that basically means clearing another world. So I have a video on my channel, which lets you get through all of World 4 very easily without levelling up, so you can have a look at that if you need help. So once you have run through all of World 1-3, you will come to the final fat official just before the gate where you open the shortcut. And this is the fat official that closes the gate at the beginning. And when we take him down, we will have the final piece of gear, the official's cap. Now whilst you're running through World 1-3, there is a fat official in the middle. And this is the fat official that is going to give us the iron key ring. Great stuff, so with all the officials gear in place and the iron keyring, we want to head from the Tower Knight Arkstone backwards, and just on the right here is an inconspicuous looking door, which can actually be interacted with and opened with the iron keyring. And down here in the cellar in the dungeon, we will fight another fat official who will give us the bloody iron key. Okay, so with everything in place now, it's time to finally go and free Yuria. So just head back to the Tower Knight Arkstone once again, and make sure you have all of the officials gear equipped, and then just make your way towards this very inconspicuous hidden path. So as you come down the alleyway then, you'll notice a number of gates that we use the bloody iron key on to unlock, and it's pretty easy to navigate through the alleyway, just come to the left, and another left, and down, to the right, and just come round to the right again for the final gate before the tower, which we find Yuria imprisoned in. So as you make your way up the tower, the reason that we need all of the officials gear is because that the final staircase is raised and the official who guards the lever won't pull that lever unless he thinks we are one of them. So as you can see with the full gear on, we get to go up and we have Yuria right here. 
Now, she won't talk to you if you're fully dressed in the official's gear, because she thinks you're one of them. So you can just take the cap off to get the dialogue to start freeing her. But when you do, the fat official that let us up will attack us. So the best thing you can do is just take care of the fat official first. So with no danger left, just remove the official's gear. And then when you talk to her, you will notice that there is a different dialogue. So just exhaust this. And when you head back to the Nexus, you will find her tucked away in the corner on the right hand side. When you come to Yuria then, don't be too disheartened if there aren't any spells for you to learn. Basically you just have to kill certain bosses and once you have their souls, you will be able to learn spells from Yuria. And they are Relief, Curse Weapon, Soul Thirst, Ignite, Soul Sucker and Firestorm. And if you need to know what souls you need for each spell, just check the description or head over to the wiki. So there we have it guys, so if you unlock Yuria and you have the right boss souls, you are going to be able to use some fantastic spells, like Firestorm here, Soul Sucker, which will kill any mob in one hit, and of course Soul Thirst, which is going to add 50% extra gain to soul farming, and this also stacks with the Ring of Avarice and the Silver Bracelets. So there we have it guys, some great spells just to name a few. I hope this video is helpful for you, if you did like it please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. All the best guys, stay safe.